How do you think uh, the e- startup ecosystem in Russia has been growing in the last couple of years? At least it emerged. There was a recent very well-known publication by Startup Genome listing Moscow and the 14th place uh, uh, among the most developed uh, startup ecosystems in the world. 14th is, of course, not the first, but it at least it is on the list which, which would not be uh, in place like five years ago. So there is a vivid startup ecosystem in Russia, of course, with its problem, with its problems, but it definitely exists with all kind of media, startup events, venture funds, a lot of venture capital, a lot of buzz around. So it, it develops. In Russia, there is a lot of backgrounds in scientists, scientific uh, studies, science, namely in uh, nuclear technology or space technology or energy efficiency or energy, which now talks clean tech and so forth. And, and for those industries, there are hungry, very hungry, very passionate scientists who want, who were not allowed to start their business in the history, but now suddenly it's very good to start a business. So that's why they are scientifically very strong companies. They need a lot of help in marketing, a lot of getting international, a lot of leadership, but the base, the, the capability to innovate is good in Russia. So the, the capability to innovate is strong. How about the culture? Is the culture supporting entrepreneurs? Well, historically, no, because being, uh, if you if you think about the startups in Finland, they are the most fearless people. I mean, starting a business is always a risky thing. You can fail and you can fail again and you can fail again, and still you, your fourth company might be ultra successful. So, I would say culture-wise, leadership style-wise, in Russia, this culture of failure is not so good. I think uh, there is a lot of ideas, uh, good ideas, not only local, but uh, that might be uh, works all over the world. Also. So there is a huge uh, brain potential in Russia with engineers and developers and other guys uh, we need to, to get uh, to, to, to make a good product. But what I think uh, we can develop more effectively in this uh, ecosystem is this, the, uh, the, the business uh, business skills and that guy who try to make startups, uh, they get, always they get, have a great product beautiful products but they have not any uh, good or bright idea how they make a business on it so that's uh, that that's the direction I think we need to develop in the couple of uh, years in the future and can you explain to us what is Skolkovo? Well Skolkovo is um, first of all if you if you ask from the 99% of the people they say that Skolkovo is a Silicon Valley project which relates to the uh, kind of an idea that it's a construction of buildings which is also true we are building a massive Skolkovo village which is a physically a big innovation center with houses schools kindergartens transportation everything having said that for me the Skolkovo still is much more important, it's an educational program, it's a coaching, it's a financing, because the, the, the federal, the governmental seed funding for the new entrepreneurs was not existing in Russia. So it is a development program, starting from the basic education, universities, business schools, and then how to finance these new startups. For Nordic and Baltic startups, Russia is, of course, a very interesting market because it's very close, very large, the largest uh, by the number of internet users in Europe. And on the other hand, of course, it's very complicated because of language, because of Kyrillic letters, because of um, uh, strange rules of doing business, because of uh, different obstacles for doing business, and because of political risks. I think we are close and rather close in mentality, so we can uh, um, we can get all these regions maybe in one big uh, ecosystem and try to open accelerator incubators that works all over this uh, these regions I think it's it has a potential and we, uh, we we can do it do you think that Finland has a unique position to be a bridge between Europe and, and to Russia no I 
no, I don't know what is unique, but yes, I think it is. Finland has a great relation. We were part once of the Russian Empire, so to say, uh, and uh, there are uh, traditionally a lot of uh, trade relations. There is not a single word in common between the language, for example, so we don't have any such benefits. But uh, after the Second World War, a lot of business was created jointly. Russia was for a long time the biggest trade partner for us, and now I think it's the second biggest in the world to Finland. Uh, so, yes, we have a good position, and especially because in Finland we have invested our time and effort and energy to build events like Slash, ever startup sauna and all these things. There are a lot of elements which make sense to copy to Russia, make a Russian version of it. So yes.